the best event I have really? to tell you. What? The best event I've ever oh. been. Like I did not, and I'm serious. I'm yeah. like about to lose it. It's like I didn't expect this out of this. Like yeah. it's like it's life changing. Wow. You get that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll go then, baby. needs to make a difference in this world and uh, chasing customers and trying to build your business and maybe raise your stock price is cool but making a difference in your customers lives more importantly building a career is kind of the theme I see this morning and uh, more than a career a legacy and so it was really good we just heard from Chris Neal and the CEO of Cult it really hit home for me to think about if what what I'm doing every day is that building my career and my legacy or is it just a job and so I challenge you watching this video, uh, you ask yourself that daily. Uh, the moment you start to slide into just day-to-day -day shit, it might be time to change things up and have the courage to do that. I'm excited for the people here. I see people, even though it's been tiring yesterday, uh, kind of digging in and wanting to learn. Not too often, because we're all busy people, do we get away like this? And um, I see they're digging in and trying to make this a transformational a few days for them. That's so good to me. That's so good for me to see uh, because that's why we built this. Um, and as you watch this vlog today, I hope you're inspired to uh, maybe rethink what you're up to on a day today. And if you're just mailing it in, have the courage to shake it up. You might disappoint some people along the way and you might not do it perfectly. Uh, but yeah, chase that. Yeah, I'm here with my man Devo. I met him through a connection, Rose. And uh, Rose has just been a volunteer here for five years, I think. And she told me about this dude on the phone. And I was like, uh, I got to get him a ticket. I didn't know him, but I, I got his vibe. And he sends me an email, man. He's saying thanks. And um, I'm going to I'm gonna come, and I want to give you something. I love that spirit of generosity that happens. And uh, what are you thinking? Tell, tell, tell them what you're up to, what you do. Uh, and, I run uh, my own clothing company called Cap City, which is uh, Calgary, Alberta it's City. Badass. Uh, we make stuff as local as possible, so like, you show this shit. check this out. This is a bag that's made from a recycled sail from a west coast, from a sailboat. Yeah. We cut it apart and then make bags out of it. It's wicked. Check this guy's stuff out. I just like this vibe. How are you liking the event so this far? This is like a music festival for business and marketing and like making a difference in the world. I love it. That's a great way to say and it. And it's like everyone wants to hang out. It's like these people are, you look up to and then they're like, hey, what's up? What are you doing? Right. Dude. But just keep doing your thing. Thank you, man. Guys like this, man, they inspire me. It's not the other way around, so uh, thank you for coming. Look at this stuff. It's cool. That, that shit right there has happened to me randomly throughout the day. That means the world. That, but at least dozens of people come up to me and just say, challenge me. A guy, Chris, just came up to me with his clothing line and was like, this yeah. event's changing my life. And a guy, same with me. Some guy's selling yeah. furniture. So, so that's what we're doing. That's right. On, yeah. the, on the micro and, and it happens on the macro. And, and you know what? I bet you a lot of them are going to be more entrepreneurial because they're not so broken. You know, our book is all about addiction. and it, It's one thing to get off of the drug. It's another thing to just never get addicted in the first place. So I think the startups uh, have maybe a greater hope, greater chance for success because they can build it right from the that's, bottom. That's what this is about. And the Centurions, like IBM, started with one idea, one guy. So we need to inspire them. That's why we put the big brands on stage. But I love the emerging brands too. I do too. Putting Those them on stage. They're in the trenches right now. It's a good mix. But you killed it today. Thank you. Help them realize their goals. Yeah. That's our mission. And it's more than a beverage company. I got, how did you guys, how do you feel they made that pivot? What was one of the things that you think? It was always in the DNA of the brand. The origin story of Gatorade is amazing. Gatorade was not constructed by a corporation looking to profit in a category. Yeah. Gatorade was invented yeah. by a scientist looking yeah. to solve problems for athletes. Right. And that's in the DNA of the brand. So it was never about sports drinks. Yeah. It's always been about athletic performance. And watching this guy personally, it's been cool to see guys just get attracted. I've been trying to give you space, but it's cool <laughs> to see people attracted to him because what Chris just talked about, I don't know if you heard it, but 
it, I can see for a guy like you, it's not a job, it's a career and a legacy working there. And um, is is it a, is it you? How long have you been there? And has it been a, a dream job? What's what's it been like? I've been there for seven years, yeah. and you know everything you do, anyone can think about the the downside, the frustrations of their yeah. work. I wake up every morning happy to go to work, and I wake up every morning remembering that my 13-year-old self couldn't be more stoked. Man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. That's a, one of my mentors for life. He was with me in the trenches uh, when I had zero dollars. Uh, I had to make payroll, and the dude strokes me a check for a lot of money uh, to get through those things. But that, those guys coming up to me with tears in his eyes saying he's proud of me. That's the shit that matters. Cool, hey, we're uh, here at the gathering still. Um, I wanted to pull you aside, vlog, followers, and tell you a quick story. People were asking me about my work intensity and how I balance life and running a couple companies and putting on this event and how I do it. And I think, I truthfully think it's a, it's BS that I'm too intense or it's a, it's really, for me, it's a choice. And I own it, I, I, I'm at 200% all the time. 100% family, 100% business. I take more vacation and time off than people know. And when I take downtime, it's downtime. It was just interesting, people were really asking me, how do we pull it off? And I'm like, just do it. Like, when you're on, be on. And be damn tired at the end of the day. There's no better feeling. My dad was a mailman, and he put his all into being a mailman. If that's your thing, do it. He would come home, and he was tired, not because he carried the mail all day, because he interacted with his customers. And I love that about him. And I try to do the same thing. Here, at the end of the day, I'm done. When I'm on for work, but also when I'm with my girls at home, my wife, I'm also on, we're having a great time. So I wanted to talk intensity. Um, yeah, make things, take ideas, put them into action. It takes work and effort. But that's life, bro. That's life. Yeah. And, and you, you triggered a thought for me I want to share with the vlog, people watching the vlog. When I phoned Andy, I got introduced, which makes it warm and easier, but still, I uh, everything inside of me wanted to impress him. But I told myself I'm not going to because he puts his pants on the same way that I do. And I'm a fan, I follow the fader. I was at South by Southwest in the early years when Fader Fort, which is still amazing, was the thing I couldn't get into. And I looked up to this, this guy and what they do at the Fader. And so if you want to meet someone, t play the long game, meet people. And uh, when I talk to him, some tips, don't, don't fanboy on the phone. How's it going? Let's see if we can make something work. I was biting my tongue, true, honestly. But I was like, as you start to talk to people, they're like, just, just like you, and it's like cool to be like, yeah, you know, and 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 that's a tip. It's a small tip, but if you just go in sell mode, yeah. you would have been like, see ya, yeah, bye. It's like so. Cockrell was like, yeah. I'm like, hey, any tips, you know, for this week? Yeah, right. Because he's like, I'm so bummed. I'm not, you know, I'm yeah. starting like, yeah. March first. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna be. And he's like, he literally texted back. He goes, just be yourself. Yeah, hundred percent. And that's it. You know, hundred like, percent. And to me, to just take a peek inside Coleman. It's Vegas is in there. So uh, Vegas was here year one of the gathering. Obviously they went through the most tragic shooting in American Canadian history, but I, I don't know of any other uh, shooting like that that's happened, it's obviously tragic. Uh, the CMO was here uh, talking about how do you survive that, how do you get back up and invite people back to your city. So let's go take a little peek and hear what she has to say. But Kathy tolls her name and she's a badass woman. I love her. The world is coming into that understanding of I don't need own I can rent, mm -hmm. and so so it's like Camino hopefully is the answer, and I hope there's more. I hope Camino is just one of the many, right? And so check it out. I'd love to hear what you to think of it. It's my passion project. Two quick stories. Uh, I'm always humbled by my mentors that show up here and one of the gentlemen named David that's been in my life bailed me out many times just 
came and said he was proud of me and we shed a tear together, a manly tear. Um, that means the world to me that my friends come and say this is special. And then entrepreneurs running small businesses come up to me and say, this event has inspired me to start a company and then come back this year, it inspired him last year, said here's some gifts of what uh, I've, I've done, here's some product. And I had that happen three or four times today. Just so you know, that means the world to me. Good job, brother. Love you. I, I love being part of this uh, atmosphere. I love the energy. I love what you guys do every year. It just gets better and better. The amount of brands and the amount of learning here is incredible for me. So I'm a sales guy surrounded by marketing guys, and I just learn and learn and learn. And it's something that uh, I just look forward to every year. I love this podcast. If you're watching this vlog, uh, Leaders in the Trenches. I haven't even. We, we did a podcast together yeah. like six months ago. Yeah, six months. I haven't even heard it, so I'm going to go back and check it out. Yeah. Um, any other highlights coming up on the podcast you want to tell our uh, viewers? You know, we've got a great lineup here. We, we're talking about brand ambassadors. We've got um, Keller Williams and Microsoft and Salesforce and a few other companies that are activating internal employees to, to uh, get their voice out in the marketplace. And it's, it's really helping not only create ownership amongst in the company, but also get the message of the brand out there, the real message. Yeah, that's awesome. You know what? <clears throat> to end this off, I'm gonna go stack chairs because nothing's below me and it should nothing should be below you. Let's go help them get over because we gotta turn this over in two hours. Love y'all. Peace.